Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you that I sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever rich, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, through those sinners, we are made just, and though I can never pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, my brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth, the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them. For by faith, he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test? by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as it is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, 
that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel comes for, to us with a very weird um, invitation if we compare with our contemporary world, world. Because in the world that we live, the most common thing is that we try to pass from one experience to another, trying to um, move fast in our lives, and the gospel asks us to remain. So it's a very different invitation and the, the thing is that the gospel show us that the true love is the, why, the one that invite us to remain and when we speak about true love we speak about a love that it's uh, able to give up his own life in order to give life to others. This is what Jesus did. And this is what our Heavenly Father did with, does with us, given he, he, they give us life without uh, us to deserve this life. So the gospel invites us to remain in the love of Jesus and also the gospel uh, show us that if we remain in his love, we are going to have the joy that belongs to Jesus. And the gospel make also a dis distinction. The gospel said, your joy might be complete because it's not just a moment of happiness, but it's a way of being in this world. 
being a joyful person, even if we are surrounded by a lot of difficulties. For the church on earth, may God continue to raise up holy men and women to serve him throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the world, may the Holy Spirit help civil authorities in promoting life and authentic love for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who feel like outsiders, May the Holy Spirit bring them to a full realization of their dignity and worth as children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For members of this faith community, may the example of Jesus inspire us in reaching out in service to all those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died, may God's love envelop them and bring them soon to the fullness of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. In honor of the Blessed Mother and all the petitions we lay at her feet, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. Father, please hear and answer these prayers which we offer in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become <coughs> for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. <coughs> For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have, may, have made us partaker of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. 
through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceased to offer himself for us, but defends us and even ever plead our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who died no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly power with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fruit, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Lamb of God, take away the sin. To take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ending.